We all know that so many WordPress websites have been under attack from cyber criminals and hackers lately. So in this video, we're going to give you 7 tips on how you can prevent your website from falling victim. Now our very first tip would be to limit the number of incorrect login attempts that can be made to your website. And our favorite plugin for doing this would be the WP Limit Login Attempts plugin. This plugin is particularly useful for fighting against brute force attacks. Now a brute force attack is a simple trial and error method used to obtain information such as a user password or personal identification number. In a brute force attack, automated software is used to generate a large number of consecutive guesses as to the value of the desired data. Now the free version of the WP Limit Login Attempts plugin fights against this by setting the number of login attempts to 5, the lockdown time remains to 10, and the number of attempts for capture to 3, while the pro version allows you to change these values to whatever you desire. Tip number 2 would be to disable the default login URL for WordPress. Now we all know that it's pretty easy to find out whether or not a website is made with WordPress. All you would have to do is to go to the URL and then add forward slash WP dash admin and then press enter. And then of course we expect to see the default login page for WordPress. Now you can prevent this by actually using the plugin called the WPS hide plugin. This plugin allows you to create your own customized login URL. So rather than wp-admin, your URL could be Sesame Street or maybe even Open Sesame. Tip number three would be to ensure that all themes and plugins on your website are all up to date. You'd be surprised at how many times hackers have been able to compromise a website simply because one or more plugins were not up to date on the website. As an extra tip, ensure that any plugins that you're not running on your website are either deactivated or completely deleted from your WordPress website. The less plugins you have installed on your website, the less vulnerable your website is going to be. Tip number four would be to downgrade the role and capabilities of the admin username. Now most people would recommend to you that you don't even have the admin username to begin with. But I would like to recommend to you that you actually go ahead and create the admin username but then downgrade the role from that of an administrator to that of a subscriber. Now what this does is that it completely fools hackers because if a hacker discovers that the admin is an actual username associated with your WordPress website, he or she will spend all the time in the world trying to get the password associated with the admin account, hoping that once they gain access they will have administrative privileges. If by some stroke of luck they are actually able to get the password associated with the admin account and they log in, they will only discover that rather than having administrative privileges, they only have subscriber privileges which is practically zero. <laughs> Tip number five would be to use a strong password. And yes, and yes, we know, I know, been told so many times before to always use a strong password. But there are still hundreds of thousands of people who still use passwords, such as password, admin, swordfish, 12345, and 123567. If you're one of such people, desist immediately because these are not good passwords. Now, what makes up a good password? Well, ensure that your password is at least 8 characters in length and is a combination of letters and figures. Make sure one of those letters is a capital letter and you can also add one or more symbols such as the hashtag or the at symbol. Tip number six would be to employ the use of the two-factor authentication method. Our favorite plugin for achieving this would be the Clef plugin. With this plugin, you can gain access to your WordPress website using your smartphone. It's a very cool way of employing the two-factor authentication method and it also helps to add an extra layer of security to your WordPress website. We do have a tutorial on how to use the Clef plugin. The link will be in the description box below. And our final tip would be to keep track of your dashboard activity. Now our favorite plugin for doing this would be the WP Security Audit Log. 
With this plugin, you can keep track of everything happening on your site's backend so that you can easily view both what users and hackers have been doing. So there you have it, our top 7 tips for protecting your website against cyber criminals, hackers and other bad guys. Please, if you love this video, click on the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tutorials like this. Thank you for watching.